Hello, Admiral Seabass here, wrapping up turn six with Anzac, turn number six. And I forgot to put their purchases down here. They're going to buy a sub and a transport. And save a buck. And 14 bucks to start with. And they're actually going to make a couple of attacks. First of all, they got a fighter and a destroyer going against a Japanese destroyer blocker off the course off the coast of the Northern Territory. So that's a three and a two, just looking for one hit. Which they got. And Japanese destroyer will fire at two or less and miss. So Blocker is gone. He has to land here, so we'll just go ahead and do that. And then we're going to try to take Java from the Japanese. We went down from Sea Zone 62 and that naval base went through 61, 56, and into 42. And um, with an amphibious assault. So that's going to be the destroyer at two. Oh, wait, does the destroyer get an amphibious assault? Let me check. Oh, they do not. I was thinking, I think they can do that in Global War 36. So um, we've got two at two for the Australians looking for one hit, which they got. And then one at two for the Japanese. And they hit. But that's pretty big because that's four bucks the Japanese are going to lose. And so the Japanese go down four. One, two, three, four. That will also lose them the bonus for the money islands. And I believe Anzac gets to take this now. So they will go up for one, two, three, four. And they will the only non combat move they'll have is their um, landing that plane. So let's place their units. Let's reach way over, get that money out of there. And we will build these two down here. So that's more naval power and more transport power. And they got two guys here that the transport can use. And then uh, let's look at the money situation for Anzac. Bear with me here a second. They're gonna have a base of 14. And, and they're going to get this one. That's 19, plus they have wartime economy. So Anzac is rolling here. 19 plus 5. Whoa, 24. And they saved a buck, so Anzac is going to have 25 bucks to spend next turn. That is a shot in the arm for the Allies in the Pacific for sure. Because now, with Anzac having 25 and the U.S. having 65, I think, they can spend 90 and they can outspend Japan in the Pacific if they put it all over there. And Japan's got some things to deal with here, for sure, as it relates to Anzac. So, um, yeah, good turn of events there for the Allies uh, this turn. So, uh, yeah, that is it. That's the end of turn six. This thing's still looking good for the Axis. little uh, shot in the arm there from Anzac at the end of uh, turn six. But, um, yeah, it'll all come down to India next turn and what Germany can do in Russia. So this is Admiral Seabass signing off.